In this video, we're going to talk about removing duplicates. And so you can see that I will have this code in the um, lesson notes down below if you want to run this. Basically, I just created three columns here with numbers, letters, or strings, and then numbers again. And then I made this into a data frame. So if we look at this data frame right here, we can see that these two are copies of each other. And so we want to be able to remove out our duplicates. And so one thing that's really helpful is the function we're going to use is, is unique. And unique is helpful in two ways. One, it's really helpful to see all the values that are within a column. And then it's also helpful to be able to remove out duplicates. So let's do the first one first. So if I just wanted to see, say this was like actually hundreds of lines long and it only had a few values and I just wanted to check what are all the values that are within this column A. I can actually run unique A and it's going to tell me, okay, the unique values that are in that column is one and three. I can also run this. This is using this variable here. So you can see I have the variable here. If I want to run it on the, the column within the data frame, I can run unique DFA, run that, and it's going to give me the same answer. And I actually use this a lot whenever I'm trying to filter to get the exact text that I want to filter for or something like that. I actually use this a lot to kind of check my data and figure out what's going on. The other thing you can do is actually remove duplicates with this same function. So if we look at our DF, we know that there are duplicate lines here. Three lines three and four are duplicates. And so what we can do is say DF, I'm gonna actually write this up in here. So I'm gonna do DF unique, and we're gonna do DF, use the pipe operator, and then just run unique. And so, this is really simple. You, you don't have to put anything within the unique here whenever you're using this pipe operator. When you run this, we're going to get a new data frame with only three observations instead of four. And when we look at it, we see that it removed off that fourth row because they were the exact same. So this is one way to handle duplicate information or whenever you introduce duplicates through some form of merging or something like that. You can always reduce that down and remove those duplicates using the unique function. 